Burris at the line can give the Hatters the lead for the first time. She will shoot two. 54 seconds on the clock. Burris, good. Cherise Burris, 70% free throw shooter, hits the first one. The Hatters have their first lead of this game, 63-62. CC's second free throw also good. The Hatters up by two at 64-62. And the Eagles now playing from behind the first time in this game, 50 seconds left in the ball game, down by two. Kennedy takes the ball into the offensive end, gets it to I am strong outside. I am strong drives right side. She has played a terrific game. She lays this one in. It's good. Joyce I am strong has dropped one in the basket. And for I am strong, she now has 31 points in this ball game, and we're tied again at 64. On the other side of the uh, ledger. Hanson with 13 points, and I am strong with 31. Almost half of the Florida Gulf Coast points by Joyce I am strong. She's had a terrific tournament, and she continues here today. She's 12 for 20 from the field, 6 for 10 from beyond the arc. She's only 1 for 2 from the free throw line. About the only thing she hasn't done really, really well today. Of course, she's only had two shots. She also has six rebounds, by the way, for the Hatters with, with nine rebounds. McGowan leads that category. She is the leading rebounder on the team. Coddington looking for the three. Sims, nope, puts the ball on the floor. Floater, good. Sims gives the Hatters a two-point lead with 20 seconds on the clock. Sims pulled up, looked for the three-pointer, and she was challenged immediately. Put the ball on the floor, took three steps toward the basket, pulled up, and hit the six eight-footer for a two-point lead for the Hatters. Florida Gulf Coast calls timeout with 20 seconds left in this ball game. They trail by two. Coddington's coming out, along with Burris, Sims, McGowan, and Sanders to see if they can stop this offensive possession, get a turnover, and seal this game. 64-66, the Hatters up by two with 20 seconds left to play. Kennedy with the ball, offensive end, Haas now. I am strong, three-pointer, why not? Comes up short, rebound Burris. She's going to hold on and get fouled, and she does. Nine seconds left, and Burris has picked up the, the rebound. It actually bounced on the floor first. She picked it up, and it was immediately fouled with nine seconds left. I am strong shot, barely grazed the iron. And that'll put Burris at the line, shooting two, because that's the tenth team foul for the Eagles. So they're in the double bonus. It won't be a one and one. It'll be two free throws coming for CC Burris, sophomore from Blue Springs, Missouri, and the Hatters lead it by two. Hope I took my blood pressure medicine. I can't remember. Anyway, Burris goes to the line. The Eagles send out Hanson and Armstrong along with Adams and Glusing and Kennedy. The Eagles undefeated. 36-0 in their last 36 games. Well, that would make sense, would it? In the A sun, as Burris goes to the line shooting two with 9.1 seconds left on the clock, and she hits the first one. It is a three-point ball game. This is a huge free throw. CC Burris at the line with a chance to give the Hatters a four-point lead with nine seconds left, and she does. The Eagles are having a hurry going on offense. Kennedy comes all the way up. The ball's knocked loose. Burris gets the rebound. Now Sanders. Sanders is, she's fouled. 1.9 seconds on the clock. Sanders is fouled. The Hatters lead by four. Hatters are going to win this thing. woo -hoo. Good thing it's my last year. I don't think I could do this every year. <laughs> and needless to say, the Hatters are going nuts. The, 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 the team members are embracing each other. Jameis Sharp is jumping straight up and down. In fact, the whole bench is now. Sydney Payne is clapping so hard, I think her hands hurt. Knock at the line, 1.9 seconds, four point lead. She hits one of these three throws, and this game is over. Sanders, 75% free throw shooter. Let's see if I can help her get this one. Put it in, knock, and she does. 
Five point lead for the Hatters, 70 to 64. They haven't adjusted the clock yet. Free throw, good. 71, 64, this game is over. The Hatters win, they're going to the dance. Hatters win this one, they're going to the dance, folks. NC2A's coming up for your Stetson Hatters. 70 to 64. Hopefully we'll get a post-game interview here in a couple of minutes. We're going to take a break. The Hatters win this thing. They are champions of the A-Sun, and they're going to the dance.